Gumroad is a simple yet powerful e-commerce platform and marketplace for selling all sorts of digital products. And today I'm going to show you how to strategically list and sell your digital products on Gumroad so that you can start generating cash flow through this lightweight e-commerce platform, channel and marketplace. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and get you up and running with Gumroad. Okay, so to get started with Gumroad so that you can start selling your digital products online, simply head over to your browser and type in gumroad.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then navigate over to start selling if you currently do not have a Gumroad account. Then go ahead and sign up with your preferred method. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and sign up with my email and then click on create account. And just like that, you have a Gumroad account. Now, the thing I like about Gumroad is they keep their dashboard, their interface, the way that they operate simple. As soon as you create your Gumroad account, you can start listing and selling your digital products. Now, like I mentioned, Gumroad is completely free to use. This means you don't need to pay a monthly subscription to use Gumroad. Their fees are incredibly simple. As soon as you make a sale, they charge 10% a flat rate on that sale. However, it's important to note that this 10% flat rate does not include credit card processing or PayPal fees. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, Gumroad is also a marketplace. You can leverage Gumroad Discover to increase the discoverability of your products. And you have control over the fee that you pay Gumroad. If you want to increase your discoverability on the Gumroad marketplace, then this is determined by the fee that you select. And we'll talk more about this shortly. Okay, so let's go ahead and add your first digital product that you can start selling online. Simply navigate up to products, then navigate down and click on new product. Simply add the name of your digital product. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I wanna sell my ultimate social media planner and marketing blueprint. This is a social media planner that I created with Notion for small businesses. And then the marketing blueprint is a 14 page PDF from my Go Digital Now ebook. Then once you've named your digital product, go ahead and select the type of your digital product. For us, we're gonna go ahead and click on digital product. We want to sell something that can be downloaded. Then navigate down and add your price. For now, I'm going to add $9. And you can also change the currency over here if you like. I'm gonna navigate up and click on next. Here we want to add information to our product page. Simply go ahead and add your product description. And as you can see, I've added my description down here. You want to keep your description short, sharp, and precise. You can see here, I have information about this product. Then down here, I've added this call to action over here. And what I'm going to do is change the price of this product to $0. Why you ask? Well, this is going to allow me to drive more leads and build up authority on my Gumroad account. So what I wanna do is build up reviews and then add a price later on. However, you don't have to do this. If you wanna start selling right away, you can do so. However, I'll show you a strategy that you can use to drive revenue as well as leads by selling your products for free. And I'll talk about that shortly. If we navigate down, you can see how this digital product works. Here you can see I've added pay what you want or enter $0 to download for free. And the great thing about Gumroad is you can allow people to add the amount that they believe that your product is worth. And this is a powerful strategy. Again, if we navigate down, we've got the four steps to downloading this digital product. I've added what's included in this digital product, what type of business is this template for, this digital product for, and then how does it work? If we navigate down to URL, here you want to add the product name, and here you can connect a custom domain if you like. This is completely up to you, or you can just use your free branded Gumroad domain. Then navigate down to cover and we want to add a cover image that will appear at the top of our listing. I'm gonna navigate down and click on upload image or video and then click on computer files. And then I'm going to navigate down to my cover image that I created inside Canva. And as you can see, this is what my cover image looks like. I'm happy with that. Now you want to also add a video if you can. This is going to drive engagement and ultimately more conversions. I'm going to click upload and then computer files and then upload this video over here. 
And this is essentially a video demonstration, a video that I created earlier under one minute that shows how to use this template and what this template has to offer. You can also choose the arrangement of your cover. Do you want the video to show first or do you want the image to show first? You can also see a larger preview by simply clicking here. Okay, so I'm actually going to navigate back up to the description and I'm going to add an image in here by simply navigating up to image and I wanna add this image here. And I'm happy with that. You can see the preview over here. I'm going to remove this space. And again, with your description, you have these other formatting options in terms of your text formatting. You can also add links, embed images, add buttons, and insert videos. Okay, so let's navigate further down and complete this listing. Choose your product thumbnail. Go ahead, click here, and click on upload. I'm going to use this image over here, and then click on open. And this is how your product listing will appear in the Gumroad library, discover and profile pages. Okay, now what we wanna do is navigate down to product info, come down to call to action, click here, and you can choose one of these call to actions. I find I want this converts better than any of these other options. Then come down and add a summary. And this is a summary of your product. If we navigate over to the right hand side, you can see that summary over here in the preview. Now you can also add call out details. These are important features of your product that will help your customers decide to buy. For example, if we go ahead and click on add detail, I'm going to add access, and then the value over here is lifetime. Our customers get lifetime access. Then I'm gonna add another, and the attribute is going to be updates, and the value is included. And one more, and I'm going to add price, and then under value, add free or pay what you think is fair. And this powerful call out here is going to show our customers that yes, they can get this digital product for free. However, if they think it's of value and they believe they should be paying for a product like this, they see value in it, then they can add what they believe is fair. And this is a powerful strategy for driving revenue with a free product. Again, you can add other details if you like. For example, this could be the material type or the template technology that you use to create that template or that digital product. Okay, so I'm happy with this for now. Here you can invite your customers to a circle community or invite your customers to a Discord server if you use these platforms. I'm going to navigate down to price and add zero. So I'm going to change this from nine to zero. And here, like I mentioned, this is a powerful strategy. Here you want to allow your customers to pay what they want. So down here, minimum is zero and suggested is, I'm gonna go ahead and add nine. So if I were to sell this digital product, I would charge $9. And the potential customer that lands on this listing, they will see the price option over here and they will see the suggested amount. If they wanna get the digital product for free, then they can add zero. And what you'll find is if you have a reasonable amount, many of your customers will pay that suggested amount. Okay, next, what we wanna do is navigate down to versions. This is where you can offer variations of your product. Now, because this is a standalone digital product, we have zero variations. So I'm gonna leave that for now. And then here you have some product settings. So take the time to go through these. I'm gonna leave these unchecked for now. As you start selling your products, then you might wanna turn this on, publicly show the number of sales on your product page. This is going to increase your social proof and drive more conversions, as customers will see that this product has been downloaded many times. So again, this is something you wanna circle back on when you start driving more sales. Okay, so once you're happy with all your changes, you can navigate over to the preview and you can preview what your product page will look like and you can also preview on a large screen. For now, I'm gonna navigate up to save and continue. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you wanna learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And that's gonna take us over to the content section. This is where you want to add the files for download. So once a customer has purchased your product, that's gonna take them here where they can download your product. First, I'm going to navigate up here and add the small call to action again. Remember, because this is a free product, so I wanna drive more reviews because at the moment, my focus is to drive more leads, to capture emails, to build my email list inside Gumroad. 
and to drive ratings so that I have social proof on my listings. Then I'm going to navigate up here, hit space, then navigate up to insert file and then computer files. And then here is the PDF instruction template that I want the customer to download to navigate through. And that's going to show them how to access their Notion template and how to use that Notion template. Now I'm also going to click here and then select add button and then type in quick access now and then add the URL that will take that customer to the template that they just purchased and then hit add button. Now remember I have a marketing blueprint. This is a 14 page PDF. I can also navigate up to here and I can insert those files into this page if I like. However, the Notion template instruction page also includes the marketing blueprint that they can access through this PDF. Okay, so once you've added your digital product, simply navigate up to publish and continue. Again, you can add more information down here if you like, and then you have these formatting options up above. However, I want to keep this page clean and simple. Okay, so I'm going to navigate up to publish and continue. And just like that, your product has been published. Now you might need to verify your email if you haven't done so already. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly preview what this listing looks like. You can see that we have our cover banner here. If I click next, we have the video over here, which demonstrates the product. If I navigate down with the title description, we have these call out options over here, as well as the location where that customer can add the price that they want. Again, we have more details down here. Okay. So I'm happy with this listing page. We've optimized this listing to convert. Okay. So I'm going to head back to my Gumroad account. If we navigate up to copy to clipboard, we can share the link to this product page across our different channels. Again, you can copy the URL over here. You can share your product on X as well as on Facebook over here. And again, like I mentioned, you can access the Gumroad discover. Gumroad discover recommends your products to prospective customers, helping you grow beyond your existing following and find even more people who care about your work. Here you want to make sure you select the correct category. I'm going to type in social media and then click on this category here and then type in keywords or tags that are relevant to this product to help with discoverability. So I'm going to go ahead and add my tags. Then once you've added your five tags that are relevant to the product, again, this is going to help with discoverability. Go ahead and click on save changes. Okay. So let's navigate over to home. Here you have a dashboard of how your profile is performing. If we navigate over to products, this is where you can see all your products as well as the sales, revenue, price, and status. If we navigate over to discover, and this is where you can view stats in regards to the discover channel. However, you can see that our one listing is currently unlisted because we need to complete a few details. We need to complete our payout settings and our account needs to be verified. To be verified, your account needs to make at least $10 USD in sales. And to set up your payout settings, simply navigate down to settings, then navigate up to payments, then choose the country that you're located in, then navigate through the process of completing each of these requirements. I have valid government issued photo ID. I have proof of residence within this country. If I'm signing up as a business, it is registered in the country above. So what you want to do is simply navigate through that process of setting up payments. You can also navigate over to checkout and here you can create discounts for your customers. Simply navigate over to new discount and create a discount offer over on checkout form. You can customize and add a custom field. You can also choose how your discounts appear, add discount code field to purchase form. You can choose never or only if a discount is available. Then you have a recommendation section just like over here and you can choose these options down here. Don't recommend any products, recommend my products and these other options down here. If we navigate up to upsell, here you can add an upsell at checkout. This essentially allows you to suggest additional products to your customer at the checkout. This will essentially nudge them to make an extra purchase, whether it's a different product, an add on or something else. Okay. So under checkout, we have posts. This is where you can create posts to update your audience. You can also send email broadcasts to your audience and you can also set up automated workflows. So as you start growing your account and you start building an audience base, your audience will grow, your email list will grow and you can start engaging in posts and email marketing activities. Below posts, we have audience, and this is where you can manage all your customers in one place. Below that we have analytics. This is where you can see basic analytics of your account. Then you have payouts. This is where you can manage and view your payouts. Then we have discover, which we talked about earlier and then library. If we click on library, 
And this is where you can see all your purchase products from other accounts. Now let's navigate over to settings again. And here you wanna make sure that your email is correct. Navigate down, make sure your time zone is correct, and then navigate over to profile. Here you want to add your profile username, your business name, as well as your name and your bio. This allows you to personalize your profile and make your profile more personable. You can also navigate up to team and add your team. And then if we navigate over to third-party analytics, you can connect third-party analytics like your Google Analytics property and Facebook Pixel. Okay, so let's navigate back over to products. So remember, once you've listed and published your product, you can start marketing that product across your different channels through either organic or paid advertising activities. You can also navigate over to these three dots and you can duplicate a listing if you like. You can also archive and delete. If I click on this listing, I can then customize this existing listing. Remember, if you want your products to be discoverable on Gumroad, then you will need to verify your account, set up your payment settings, and generate over $10 USD. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you set up and sell your products on Gumroad so that you can drive cash flow through digital products. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Gumroad tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about Gumroad, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.